Have you ever gone into a restaurant and saw no prices on the menu? If you did, would you order anything off that menu? Most people wouldn't take the risk of some ridiculously high-priced steak coming to them. But we do it in healthcare all the time. And afterwards, we get bills, stacks of bills, for tens and tens of thousands of dollars sometimes. My name's David Contorno, and I've been helping employers manage their healthcare costs for the last 20 years. What if we approached healthcare in a completely different way? What if we applied the same cost and quality metrics to healthcare that we apply everywhere else? Join me on my journey as I seek to find solutions to my own hernia and the surgical repair that my doctor told me I needed to get that fixed. I decided to sort of make this experiment to say, okay, let me find out what it's like to go for that normal patient experience into the normal healthcare system. I'm going to call some places and my main goal is to find out how often they do a hernia repair, how well they do it, and what the cost is. Um, and you're going to go on this journey with me. Hi, my name is David Contorno and my doctor diagnosed me with an inguinal hernia. Hi, I am trying to get the price for doing an inguinal hernia repair. And how may I help you? My doctor diagnosed me with an inguinal hernia. I just wanted to find out how often you guys do that type of repair, how well you do it, and how much it costs. Start out price is $40,780.58. Okay. $7,774.94. You're looking about $1,500. $1,500? Um, I checked with Lisa, my supervisor. She really didn't know the answer to that question. We were just Googling online. and. We don't really know. Gotcha. I mean, we just Googled it. This is so ridiculously complex. Your call is very important to us. Please hold it. Is it now? Can you transfer me to anesthesia first? You know, this whole process is kind of uh, archaic, don't you agree? It'd be like if I wanted to get a price on a TV and I called Best Buy, and they said, well, here's the TV price, but you got to call somewhere else to get the price on the remote control and somewhere else to get the price on the electrical cable you need to plug it in. Do you agree? <laughs> Thank you for calling Free Direct Health. This is Lissette. How can I help you? <clears throat> Hi, Lissette. My name is David Contorno. I'm a member. One of the of solutions that we bring to our clients is a company called Redirect Health. And Redirect Health's entire premise is that when you have somebody who has a clinical background on your side navigating you through the system, that your outcomes are better and your costs are lower across the board. So typically what we do, we work with our internal referral team and our medical director, um, and it could be a 24-hour turnaround time um, just to give you a call back um, to get you those pricing. Okay, sounds good. So after hearing back from Redirect Health, they presented me with several options, all of which had published quality and pricing data they were able to give me. I chose Surgery Center of Oklahoma because of its pricing and long-time documented history of high-quality outcomes. Even though it was in another city, it still made sense for me to consider that as an option. Surgery Center of Oklahoma, this is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. My name is David Contorno, and um, I have an inguinal hernia on the right side of my groin that I need repaired. I wanted to get some ideas around cost, having that repaired at your facility. Okay. And you said an inguinal hernia repair. Our self-pay price for that procedure is $3,060. That includes the surgeon, facility, and anesthesiologist. Oh, wow. I mean, we've been getting having to call all separate places to get that. So you already know what all those are going to be in advance? Yes. Hey, question. Who can I ask about, like, frequency and, and quality stuff there? Maryland, our director of nursing might keep track of that. Um, we want to try to get you over there to her. Sure, if you don't mind. Hi, David. Hey, Marilyn. This is Marilyn from the Surgery Center of Oklahoma. You called out wanting some stats. Yes. I think the three questions were if we've had any infections. Yep. Uh, and the answer is no. Okay. With ingu inguinal hernias. There have been no readmissions for complications. Okay. And we've done, from December of 16 to November of 17, which is a year, we did 313 hernia repairs. Wow, that's impressive. Awesome. So is there anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay. Thanks so much, Marilyn. Well
So I got some cash out at the ATM machine I'm at the airport, and I'm now paying for my surgery in cash. I paid uh, the $200 over at uh, the doctor's office, which was uh, part of his payment. Now I'm just arriving at the surgery center of Oklahoma. Gonna walk in and see what this intake experience is like and um, see how it goes. I think it's time the buyers of healthcare, they begin to very seriously question that big discounts off of bill charges make sense. This has been a disaster. Um, as Dave Chase has said, it's possibly the biggest heist uh, in the history of this country. So just finished the surgery, I'm still a little groggy from the anesthesia, but um, everything seems to have gone well. I mean, high quality drugs they gave kept me out and I woke up and it was done. All in all seems to have been a success. So I'm four weeks post-op and I feel fantastic. I already went skiing two weeks ago. The experience was wonderful, the facility was super high quality, the nurses and the doctors and the staff were second to none. And so, what was different about this journey? How did this change fundamentally both the approach and the outcome from the standard experience? Well, I put healthcare first. I cared about cost and quality, I actually demanded it. And I didn't go to a place that couldn't give me those metrics. So I made sure that I was going to the highest quality, lowest cost facility that I could. So let's do the math. Well, I could have gone to the $47,000 place, and I have a $12,000 deductible and out-of-pocket on my family high-deductible health plan, so I would have owed the $12,000. My health plan would have paid $35,000 on top of that, and maybe I would have had the same outcome, maybe I wouldn't. But instead, by putting healthcare first, I paid $3,060, add in travel and hotels, and I'm still under $4,000. And here I am sitting before you, 100% recovered, and ready to do this the next time I need to encounter our healthcare system. So join me on this revolution, one in which we put healthcare first and see how it changes your financial and your physical picture.